Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, subscribe button and give this video a like up. 90 Gay Fiancé The real reason Danielle will never bring Johan to America. 90 Day Fiancé The other way couple Danielle Gates and Johan Geronimo got back together after a split only to have arguments about money and his visa. 90 Day Fiancé the other way couple Danielle Gates and Johan Geronimo can't seem to agree on moving to the U.S. together. Danielle, a 42-year-old from New York, married Johan, a 33-year-old from the Dominican Republic, in November 2021. Danielle had met him just five months prior to their wedding, while on vacation in the DR. Danielle was impressed by Johan's height and how attractive he was. However, Johan wants a good life and claims Danielle promised it to him. He married her to improve his financial situation. It's not like Danielle tried to take Johan to the U.S. The couple recently visited an immigration lawyer to explore different options they had for a visa for Johan to travel with her to New York. Danielle wanted Johan to apply for a tourist visa, but Johan wanted a green card. Danielle said applying for a green card would take an unbelievable amount of commitment and they weren't in a place in their relationship where she was 100% sure about him. Danielle fears Johan will leave her for a new woman. Danielle and Johan have a considerable age gap between them. Danielle didn't about that when they got married. Bringing Johan to the U.S. would mean giving him a chance to explore new relationships with American women who would not only have money to spend on him, but would also be closer to him in age. Danielle has been dealing with serious financial issues. Danielle quit her job as a teacher before moving to the DR. She used to work in New York and had 19 years of experience. Danielle also had a side hustle as a holistic wellness coach. During her 90-day fiancé, the other way season 5 introduction, she revealed she was now teaching yoga to her clients via Zoom classes. What Danielle did not talk about, however, were her financial issues. In July 2023, In Touch reported Danielle had filed for bankruptcy in January 2022. Danielle had assets totaling $22,420 and liabilities of $224,584 as per her bankruptcy filing. Danielle's monthly expenses back then were coming to $6,017, while her monthly income was $4,717. A life in the DR would have been less expensive for Daniela. Moving back to the U.S., in that case, with Johan would become a problem. Danielle even tried to tell Johan that he wouldn't get a high-paying job in America because of his poor English speaking skills. Danielle would have to financially support him even in the U.S., at least in the DR. Yohan could make his own money without Danielle's help. There was a reason why Danielle wanted to get out of the country and relocate to Johan's instead. Johan has already revealed he married Danielle for money. Johan has already made Danielle aware that he married her thinking she could be his sugar ma. In 90 Day Fiancé, the other way, Johan has been complaining that despite marrying an American woman, all he got after a year of marriage was a dog. Johan cited the example of a friend who's also dating an American woman who was already gifted a car and an apartment. Danielle likely fears that when Johan comes to the U.S., he could meet a similar woman who agreed to marry him and shower him with everything he desires, which she cannot offer him. Thanks for watching.